Two Jackson High Schools got quite a treat today. The Thelonious Mock Institute of Jazz brought its blues and jazz curriculum to students at Mora and Jim Hill High Schools. Nonprofit Institute believes music is a great way to spark interest in learning. Take a look. My name is Bobby Watson and I play the alto saxophone. This particular group of musicians, we've been together about four years and we've uh, been everywhere from Alaska to uh, Florida. Our goal is to hit every uh, state in the union eventually. My name is Richard Duran Johnson and I play jazz piano. When we go around to the different high school students in the country, we try to relate to them that it's important to be free and improvise. <laughs> My name is Ashley Powell. I sing in the Jim Hill Choir and I also in the drum major this year. They're very talented, especially a saxophone player. I was very interested into him and also the guy that played the big cello. We try to always make it relevant to the young people. You know, what you're listening to the radio has come from this, because of this. Today, the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz gave an informant's part information, part performance at Murr and Jim Hill High Schools. The Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz is a nonprofit organization. It's based out of Washington, D.C. Its philosophy is to bring together the greatest living jazz musicians to teach and inspire young people. Another informant is scheduled to take place tomorrow at Callaway High School. And before we go, we wanted to share some Mississippi history. That's the sounds of the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz. They instructed Callaway High School students on jazz and blues history today. The group teaches kids how important these forms of music are to the history of music. Just in case you didn't know, blues originated in Mississippi. By the way, the group will make several other stops at high schools all across the state. I wish we had time to listen to more. It sounded good already, didn't it?